Nitari is an urban village situated in the state of Uttar Pradesh in India. Not many people knew that such village even existed until 2006 when all this was going to change. 7th May 2006, 20 year old Payal went missing. Her parents filed complaint in police. Interestingly, she was not the only one missing. There have been cases of missing children and young women in Natari since 2004. But it seems the local police and authorities did not give any emphasis in resolving them. Locals even accused police being corrupt and not helping them since they were poor and had nothing to offer. 29 December 2006, two local residents claimed that they have seen human remains in the drain next to a house owned by Moninder Singh Pandher. These two people contacted Resident Welfare Association President S.C. Mishra and they started searching the drain. Within few minutes, they found decomposed human hand, which is when they immediately called the police. Police started digging the area where the decomposed hand was found and what they saw sent shivers down their spine. They recovered skeletons of approximate 17 bodies, most of which were children. The owner of the house, Munander Singh Pandher, and his servant, Surender Kohli, were immediately arrested and the house was sealed. However, the local residents were outraged with the pace of the police investigation. They accused the police of defending Moninder Singh, who was rich, powerful and had good contacts with the politicians. When the mounting pressure from the media and people, UP government handed over the case to CBI. Two accused were taken to CBI headquarters in Delhi amidst high security. The revelation. During initial interrogation, Surinder Kohli did not budge. Investigators were finding it hard to get the answers from him. Finally, he broke down under pressure and admitted his crime. According to the statement given by Surinder Kohli, he would first kill the victims and then rape their bodies. He would then cut their bodies into pieces and dump them in the drain behind the house. There were some reports in the media that he even used to eat body parts of the victims. Surinder Kohli further admitted that his employer Moninder Singh did not know about this. CBI too gave clean chit to Moninder Singh after preliminary investigation. The Conviction After almost two years of this revelation, Moninder Singh, who was set free by CBI, was found guilty along with his servant Surinder Kohli by the session court in February 2009 and were given death sentence. In fact, Surinder Kohli received five death penalties for different murders. However, Moninder Singh was later set free by Allahabad High Court. Supreme Court of India upheld the death sentence of Surinder Kohli in 2011. And after many arguments and debates, his death sentence was converted into life imprisonment in 2015 due to no unanimity on his death sentence between Session Court, High Court, Supreme Court and the President of India. This clearly reflected the failure of the entire Indian judiciary system. Nitari massacre had left everyone shell-shocked, not only in India, but all over the world. It was one of the most brutal serial killing ever witnessed in the 21st century. If you love what we do, then please like and share this video. Show your support by subscribing to our channel.